Hey Terrasphere, it's Holly from Cape Cod Creatures and I am here with your daily kick-ass inspiration. Today we are using the Untamed Truth Oracle. It's a cute little uh, rainbow-backed mandala card deck that was started as part of a 30-day Instagram challenge to create your own oracle deck. Um, and it's really the quality is amazing. Some of the cards I don't drive with, but I think that's every deck though, isn't it? So we're just going to give this a quick shuffle. And then we're going to pick out our cards. I'm going to do, I'm feeling two cards today. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling two cards today. All right, let's see. Right, I want this one and I want this one. All right. So here are our cards. Ooh, good ones. Um, we've got water, a very weighty element card. Thank you, deck. And then we got <laughs> Bloom, um, which is pretty, pretty obvious. It's to grow and to flower and to open up and to become, to kind of come out of your shell and, and like the, reach the pinnacle of whatever it is that you're trying to do, right? That's like, that's the, Blooming is the end game. It is like the, it's the top of the bell curve as far as it's concerned. But anyway. Water, I feel like, is kind of the focus of this reading. I don't know why, I just kind of do, but, um, you know, water is a great, it, it's it's such a great element. It's, you know, very, it can be very life-giving and nurturing, and, I mean, you, you know, you can only live for three days without water. It's, you need it to grow things, you need it to, you need, flowers need it to bloom, um, but it can also be very destructive. And the other thing that I really like about water is that it can affect great change over time in very teeny, teeny, eensy, weensy increments. Um, you know, you give a river enough time and it's going to carve out the Grand Canyon. Um, but yeah, I, I think that, I think that um, for today's, for today's kick-ass inspiration, just because, you know, don't, I think it's, I think we're going to take a little advice from water and, um, you know, if, just because you don't think that you've reached the point of blooming, um, you know, the point of like the end game, the coming, who, the, the becoming who you want to be or getting done what you want to do or like your ultimate goal or whatever it is that you've got going on just because you feel like you haven't bloomed yet doesn't mean that you aren't affecting tiny changes to get you to where you want to be. Um, you know, we are, we are us 24 seven. So it's not like you see somebody and then you see them three years later and either they gained a bunch of weight or lost a bunch of weight or like their hair is thinning or, you know, they grew a mustache and whatnot. Like it's, it's, it's we, we, but we live with ourselves that whole time and small change is really hard to see when you're really close to it. So I think that, you know, just don't be discouraged in a, in a world where people want results and they want them yesterday. Um, you know, small change is happening and, and you, it, it's helping you reach a place where you really wanted or needed to be. So that is your daily kick-ass inspiration for today. Be like water. Small change equals big change over time. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good one. And I'll see you later, Tarosphere.